everyone, welcome here to Talk FCB and welcome back to the channel here today, guys. As once again, it's a big, big day of transfer news because coming up in today's video, we are going to be talking about the huge news surrounding Robert Lewandowski and his desire, his sheer desire to join Barca this coming summer. We're also going to be talking about Barca's interest in Napoli centre-back Kalidou Koulibaly. And it's not only that either, because we're not just going to be talking about the news surrounding those two players, but even more importantly, in my opinion, we're going to be talking about what that would mean for the club. If we did pursue Lewandowski and Koulibaly, what direction would that take us in? And crucially, would it be the right one? It is all coming up, guys. So let's do it. Because if we do begin with the big, big news surrounding Robert Lewandowski and Bayern Munich and their stance ahead of a possible departure of the Polish striker this summer. Because obviously Lewandowski right now is under contract until 2023. So come this summer, he would have one year remaining on that deal. But something very, very significant happened on Thursday. Because then Lewandowski went to Bayern and he said, OK, I want to leave. And that was a decision that he's been thinking a lot about. There's been a lot of things going on in the background. But he went to Bayern and informed them of his desire to leave the club. And his decision is final. Now, in response to that now, it's very interesting because originally Bayern were quite sceptical about letting Lewandowski go. They're willing to keep him on until 2023. They're not going to offer him a new deal, but they did originally definitely want to keep him. But now with that will of the player. We've always spoken about the fact that if Lewandowski really pushed for it, if he was very, really, very really clear about the fact that, you know what, I want to go and I want to go now, suddenly then that stance from Bayern could well change. And indeed right now, plenty of sources in the German media are saying Bayern have just started to open up to the possibility of selling Lewandowski this summer, given that they are now aware that he wants to go, and of course with Bayern knowing full well that they would lose him for free in 2023. However, Bayern are still going to set their price, and they still remain in control of this Lewandowski situation. Of course, what they would like to do as well is bring in a replacement. That is one of their priorities right now, but it is reported that they would be open to selling Lewandowski for 35 to 40 million euros this coming summer. And that is very interesting because according to the reports now in the Catalan media, that is a fee that Barca not only could pay, but also would be willing to. And honestly, I do believe that right now, simply because it was set there when Lewandowski was making his decision about what he wanted to do, about his future there. It was always said that he would first of all talk with Barcelona. His agent there has met with the club basically to find out that if okay, if Robert says, I want to go, if he forces his way out of Bayern, can you pay the money? Can you make this deal happen? And I feel as though in order now for Lewandowski to have gone to Bayern and told them that he wants to leave, he must have received some assurances from Barca. He must have been told, okay, we can do this. We can make this deal happen. And Robert Lewandowski is crystal clear. He only wants Barca. However, before we talk there about the direction and before we talk a little bit more about that deal in some detail, I also want to bring you the news on Kalidou Koulibaly. Because this right here is a player that Barca have been tracking now for many, many years. So many times we have been linked with Koulibaly, somebody we've all been aware of at centre-back, putting in some incredibly consistent performances there year upon year upon year. And apparently, Xavi is a big, big fan of Koulibaly. Apparently, actually spoke with him at the end of the second leg that took place there back at the end of February in Naples. Barca against Napoli spoke there with Koulibaly. And apparently, there wouldn't be any problem at all in convincing him to join. He would be more than happy to make that move and it would be financially possible for Barca. And I think also what's very significant is that Koulibaly is very comfortable playing as a left centre-back, playing there on the left side of that centre-back pairing, which is very important given the fact that this summer Barca are hoping to offload Samuel Mtiti, also Clement Longley. We will need somebody in that area and we have done now for quite some time. However, 
Once again, in exactly the same scenario as Bayern with Lewandowski, Napoli do remain in somewhat control of this transfer situation because Koulibaly still remains under contract for one more year come the summer. His contract also expires in 2023 and the rumours right now seem to believe the transfer fee for them to part company with their centre-back this summer would be around 30 million euros. Originally we heard figures like 40, 45 million, there have been a few 25 millions as well, but I believe there is somewhere in the middle of that. Napoli cannot renew Koulibaly, apparently they do not have the finances right now to make that possible, so they will want to cash in on him now. They will not want to wait and lose him for free in 2023, and an offer there of around 30 million, it might be enough. However, this is the important part now when we move on to what those deals would mean and we move on to the feeling around potentially what it would mean to Barcelona and indeed us fans to sign the likes of Lewandowski, the likes of Kalidou Koulibaly. Because one of the first things that I think many people would say is, okay, we're targeting two players here who technically they'd be free in one more year. In 2023, both of their contracts expire, so are we paying too much money here to sign them now? But I would actually look into the free transfers that are happening these days in football, especially when you're talking about big names. It actually turns out that many of these free signings they're not free at all. You look at Mbappe, who's likely going, of course, to Real Madrid, of course, a massive name. And yes, Real Madrid won't pay a transfer fee to PSG for him, but it's rumoured that Mbappe himself will receive their 80 to 100 million in a signing bonus. And even Antonio Rudiger, another free transfer this summer, heading to Real Madrid, but he will also pick up, apparently, a 35 million signing bonus too. So believe me, when you look at the players and think, okay, it's better we get them for free, sometimes it actually doesn't work out like that at all. And when you look at Lewandowski, when you look at Koulibaly, probably just get them in now. If you are going to go down that road, pay the money and bring them in. But what I would do personally is use that contract situation to our advantage. I would look at the fees for Lewandowski and indeed for Koulibaly, and I would certainly there try and get the cost down as much as you possibly can because I would actually say for both of those players maybe still there's a bit of room to bring that fee down we will of course be intent on doing that but are these signings that we should be making would these signings this summer signal intent from the club continue on the path that we're currently on and I honestly think it's difficult I think there's two very different sides of this story because on the one hand many of us Barcelona fans we want that long-term vision. We've been craving it now for a long, long time, whereby we have a path, we have a road to recovery. We want to see young players. We want to see players who can improve and grow as the years go on and not players there whose value is only going one way. However, and this is the point that I really want to make clear when it comes to Lewandowski, when it comes to Koulibaly, players of this quality, this proven quality, because what are we here for in football? Because in the same breath, all of us fans would also say... Coming into next season, we want to win. We want to compete. We want to be there, challenging now for titles. And that's what makes it tricky. And that is why when you look at a player like Robert Lewandowski, who, yes, has only got a few more years in him, hasn't got, you know, a great number of time ahead of him, but could you bring him in to win now? Could he actually bring proven quality to this club? Of course he could. I think Lewandowski, I think Koulibaly, they are players who would come in and improve us now along with the talent that we have. You can combine proven quality with young, exciting talent at this club. And if you get the balance right, and of course, if we don't overpay, that's very, very important. But if we can get that balance right... I think it could be a good combination. And I think in a time where Barca can't pay the biggest fees, we can't go after the very biggest names at the peak of their powers, this might be a clever way around it in the short term. But of course, guys, what I would like to know more than anything is your thoughts in the comments down below. Because quite honestly, on these kinds of players, on the proven quality, but yes, they are heading into their 30s now, both of them, I can see both sides of the story. Many people will say, you know what, they're too old. We shouldn't be going down this route. This is not the kind of direction that Barca should be heading in. But I think many people would also say, we do want to win now. We do need something this summer to actually give this squad a lift, to give us some real presence in our team. I think both of these players do certainly remain real, real options for Barca. Let me know those thoughts down below. 
Of course, I'll be seeing you soon. Very, very soon indeed. With more videos to come. Thanks for watching, guys. And thanks for all of your support. But until next time. As always. Vishka. Elbasa. Uh -huh.